Hey guys, Brian with Wrenches and Rides, and today we're going to take a look at Olight's M2R Pro Warrior OD Green Limited Edition Flashlight. Now this is a lot more than just your typical flashlight that you're going to find. We're going to go through a ton of options and things that are involved inside of this flashlight that make it stand out so far from the pack that it is absolutely amazing. Now first, there is an affiliate link in the bottom with a discount code of WA10. So you can go down to any of Olight's flashlights and get 10% off anything that you buy there. This particular flashlight is going to go on sale and it's going to be $79. And if you want to bundle it, you can get another little flashlight that turns on. It's a keychain style flashlight. Add like three more bucks. Now these do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you do not like them, you can send them back. Let's dive in and take a quick look at this and let me show you what sets us apart. Compared to a lot of other flashlights on the market, the first thing that we noticed was the build quality. You do have a charger here, simply magnetizes to the back. You can see that this charger is glowing red. And it is a two amp charger because inside of this guy, you have a 21700 lithium ion battery that is five amp hour. So this flashlight will run on its moonlight mode for 50 days. Basically you can run this in its turbo mode for well over two hours. And the feel and the quality of it is what really sets it apart to me. You have good grip in the middle that's good with gloves, good with your normal hands, and you do have a little bit of, I guess it's, it's knurling, uh, I don't know the technical term for it, but it would help you in self-defense situations, help as a glass break along with the back. Now, the switching of this is what's really awesome to me. First, it will memorize anything that you have on when you push the side switch and you'll see that this is lit up as green that's telling you that it's 75 percent charged or more it'll go down to orange and red and then blinking red to give you a battery fuel gauge now when that turns on let me see if i can go towards the camera a little bit it's going to memorize the mode there's four modes here if you push and hold so that i just clicked it once turn off so that's low medium medium two and high so we're just going to click this guy back on. That was moonlight mold mode here. So this is basically for reading something. It's, it's basically very few lumens. If you were in a car, it would be awesome. If you click this guy twice, it'll go into turbo mode. And if you click this guy three times, it'll go into strobe mode. And it'll remember that. So if you're using this switch, whatever you turn it off on, it will turn itself back on. I'm in moonlight mode. Now the cool part about this to me is that it's also meant for a tactical situation or if you're going to put this on a weapon, you can mount this on a gun, no issue. And they do have the mounts and the pressure, pressure switches and they do magnetize on the back, which it's a pretty serious magnet. You can use this light by just simply pressing the back lightly and it'll come on in medium. If you hold it, it'll use as like a pressure switch. If you push it quick, it'll stay on. Now if you push hard, it'll come on in turbo mode. And you can push hard and it'll be on in turbo mode, or you can push light, it'll come on in medium. So lots of options here that set this apart from many other lights, and it's all going to depend on how you use it. The belt clip that they have on here obviously works in multiple different directions, so it's very comfortable, very small, and the amount of lumens that it puts out is absolutely amazing. Now they do have a model on their website that does have the 18650 battery in it and it has less battery life. So when you're looking at this, make sure you're looking at the M2R Pro Warrior Series. And if it doesn't have the Pro in it, that's probably going to designate that it's running the smaller batteries. This thing's just amazing when you feel it in this. I can't even describe how these switches feel. All I can tell you is that you're getting a very kick-ass light for the money. The more you use this light, it's simple. The more refined and the more engineered the light feels, and it's just amazing. Now, the camera is not doing the light complete justice. I'm using my GoPro 8. 
thinking that it's gonna have some great night resolution, but once I get out past that 50 meter point, I'm not picking up the light in the woods like you would. There's actually deer out back that you can see their eyes and you can see a couple glimmers of them if you look really close, but we're really not seeing it. Maybe if there were some leaves on the trees, it would show up better. But if I come a little more close up, you can see exactly how this light is coming out in a very nice circle that is very bright. And then around that circle, there is actually more light. That is not being portrayed that great in this film. And I apologize about that. I'm gonna to continue to work on how I can get these flashlights to show up a little bit better to give you a more realistic sense. But what I can tell you is that Olight has thought about everything when they send you this package. The carrier that you have is again, very tactical. It slides in, slides out very nicely. If you were to have this flashlight accidentally turn on via the side switch or the tail switch, it's actually going to shine through. So you're not gonna have a light in here that is on, but you don't know it. That is significant to me because they're allowing you to say, hey, if this is used in a security situation, you're gonna know that your light's on and burning up some battery. Having a magnetic charger, or they call it an MCC, magnetic charging cable, a lot of things here are going to be a little more tactical termed that just simply pops on and pops off. I mean, it is right there. There are other options where you can get this where it'll magnetize to an L bracket, then this will sit on top of it. it takes about five hours to charge. Again, remember you have a very large 21700 five amp hour battery in here. This charging system is by far better than anything that we've used in other flashlights. Plus the fact that they give you options to mount it on a weapon. They have a Picatinny rail mount. They have a magnetic pressure switch that goes over the back all cool stuff to me that just set this apart. Now, I've got some Surefires and I've got some other branded lights, a TLR8, I believe, and this stuff is 10 times that light, especially for build quality and for the money, this is much better. I would much rather mount this on my weapon and have something that I can charge anytime I want on and off. Now. Granted, some of the other lights have some nice charging abilities too, but we're talking about getting up into three, $400 lights. There are some larger lights that Olight does have on their site. I'm going to continue to bring some of these lights in. I think they're well worth continuing to look at them. Now this light is IP8X rated, so let's drop it in some water and see what it does. Olight claims this is going to be water safe down to two meters. We'll just hold this light in the bucket. You can see we got the light shining through here. See how long it lasts, but I'm gonna assume that this light could go forever down there just by the build quality again. And when you look at everything that comes with this light and how Olight's thinking about everything, here's a little pin that's on the end of their, I guess it's a tether and it's meant to go through the light and help you to put everything together without struggling. And that little pin on the end is going to be a significant help. It's just, everything's here and included. Now for the three bucks, this keychain light, it's cool. It is rechargeable and it does come apart. It'll take a USB-C on the inside when you move it open. It turns on first on low by spinning it and then to high. We can too put this light underwater, no issue. And that attests to the build quality, even of some of their lesser expensive lights. I mean, this dude's three bucks, right? So for a keychain light, it's definitely going to give you the 40 lumens that it's gonna put out. Uh, I think it's got a throw of, they say like 30 meters. It's, you know, it's a pretty bright light, but it's not crazy. Obviously, it's a keychain light. It's what it's meant for. This stuff's cool. Good build quality. I like it. And like I said, I'm going to continue to go over these things more and more. It really makes uh, some of these lights that we've looked at before look like crap. And some of them have been quite expensive. So remember that 30-day money-back guarantee, five-year warranty. 
Take a look at what they got down below. Leave me some comments on what you think. I really appreciate that. If we missed anything in this video that you want to see, please let me know that too. We should come up with a good giveaway for one of these. I think that would be great. As always, guys, we appreciate your time. Please give us a like of this video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.